Gatwick Airport, a flight has just arrived from Antigua. Suitcases from the flight are unloaded and checked by sniffer dogs before passengers collect them in the terminal. One female passenger from the flight has raised suspicion. After passing through immigration, she was seen changing her clothes in the toilets. So UK border agency officer George has stopped her for questioning. She actually changed outfits from when I saw her down by immigration when she was getting her passport swiped. When talking to her in the channels, she actually said that it's because she had a long journey and she had some soggy clothes which she needed to change out of. It's a suspicious activity. Normally, people would just wait. George carries out a routine search of the woman's bags. When she went upstairs, I noticed that she had a carry-on holder, which sometimes they can actually sneak drugs through their holders. The hold all and its contents are taken away to be x-rayed. Officers will be looking for any hidden concealment. George continues his search of the woman's suitcase. The hold all gets the all clear, but the woman's laptop looks decidedly suspicious. On the x-ray, it's sort of uneven. As it goes in, it shows that there may be something inside. Yeah. With concerns there may be drugs hidden in the laptop, it's taken away to a workshop to be properly assessed. OK, hey, what's happened? Image? Yeah, we've got clearer image and it shows... It may seem brutal, but the only way to find out if it does contain anything illegal is to break it open. It looks like their hunch was right. Officers discover a package they suspect to be drugs stuffed inside the laptop. A simple test will be able to confirm their suspicion. At Birmingham Airport, it's the start of a busy evening shift. A flight has just come in from Gran Canaria and Officer Mike is scanning suitcases for excessive quantities of cigarettes. We're x-raying the baggage through this felt scanner here, looking primarily for cigarettes or tobacco, but there is a chance we may find defensive weapons such as flick knives or throwing stars and things like that. Passengers arriving back from Gran Canaria have a strict allowance of just 200 cigarettes. OK, that one's got some square shapes in that may may indicate tobacco. We'll have another look at that one in a moment. Having found a large quantity of cigarettes on the X-ray, Mike will be keen to ask the owner of the suitcases a few questions. A man in shorts and a blue jumper collects one of the bags from the luggage carousel. And as he proceeds through the nothing to declare channel, Mike steps in to intercept him. Hello there, guys. Just step over this way a second. Just come over to the bench for me. Can we look at your passports, please? Not travelling with anyone else? Sorry? Not travelling with anyone else, no. Just been a family holiday, is it? Yeah, how long have you been away? Two days. Yeah. Where to? Grand Canaria. Okay. Whose name was it booked in? Who actually did the booking? I thought you said you weren't with anyone else. Three of us. I didn't even know that. Sorry. Oh, right, so you, you, so you, you were travelling with these people, yeah? Yeah, when you right. said two adults and went Well, no, and I did say if you travel with anyone else and you said no, oh, yeah. it's not a problem, OK. Yeah, if you know what, you can't bring in drugs, guns, knives, weapons, a decent seem to, and stuff like that. Yeah, OK. Uh, you wear the cigarette restrictions from Grand Canaria. I can, I can tell by the face. <laughs> OK, not sure. OK, something you want to tell me? Cigarettes? Okay, how many have you got? You don't know. Do, do you know how many you're allowed to have? No, 200. One sleeve, one packet. Have we gone bust? 200 sleeves, I think, sorry. 200 sleeves? Okay, I guess we better have a look then, eh? The man confesses to being way over his allowance. Who are they for? Oh, fair enough, I appreciate your honesty, mate. First time you've been caught? First time you've been caught? First time you've done it? <laughs> Last time as well. First time or not, it's going to be an expensive lesson. 
With three suitcases stuffed to the brim, the man could feasibly be arrested. Back at Gatwick, officers are about to run tests on a package they suspect to be cocaine found in a woman's laptop. We've pulled a package out from behind the screen. All he's doing now is splitting it to take a small sample, which we can test on this cocaine reagent here, so which will give us an indication of what type of drug it is. The reagent will turn blue if the substance is cocaine. It is there. With a positive identification for cocaine, the news is now broken to the woman. As she's led off for further questioning, officers take this opportunity to use the cocaine as a training aid for sniffer dogs. Uh, we try and um, educate the dogs on life reward, on live concealment because we can't replicate that. You know, they've spent a lot of effort to sort of hide that concealment in that laptop. We just can't do that with our training samples. So now the dogs are sort of learning curves just shot right up. With the game now well and truly up, the woman's attitude begins to change. This is for Hillary. <laughs> she may be laughing now, but all that awaits her is an empty cell. Officers stay with the woman while her belongings are checked in, and she's informed of her rights. Meanwhile, George inspects the cocaine concealment further. There's a lot of work which has gone into this. This would be actually considered a deep concealment for a rudimentary way of trying to, I suppose, disguise it from an X-ray was by covering it in foil. But um, obviously, it hasn't worked. Right, you want to take your food off and put them here. As the woman is checked into her cell, she starts to vent her frustration. And if you do need stuff, in here. Listen to me. Just listen to me. Let us know if you need anything else. Would you like to see the part of the blood with the cell, right? You want to see that part? She's getting a bit upset now. When she was stopped, even when the whole her computer was being x-rayed, she was quite calm. But everyone's different. Everyone reacts in different ways, so. There, there is no way you can spot a drug smuggler, is it? They come in all shapes and sizes. One thing left to find out is the weight of the drugs. So that's coming in at around about 530 grams. So depending on its purity, it could actually be quite substantial. With an estimated value of 25,000 pounds, it's been a very successful day for the officers. Less so for the woman, who will have plenty of time to contemplate her actions. Back at Birmingham, officers are counting the massive haul of cigarettes a man has brought back from Gran Canaria. You did realise that there is a limit when you'd actually become an arrestable offence. Okay, and you're going to be close. It depends on the value. The man's friend who booked the tickets is also carrying three suitcases full of cigarettes. It's now a question of what penalty they face. You have 36,000. It's a rather impressive 35,600 over the limit, because obviously the baby's not entitled to any. <laughs> She's not yet 17. With the man's friend also carrying a further 36,000, the total haul is just under the amount where they would have been arrested. That one is a warning letter. Now, obviously, as you know, you sailed very close to the wind this time. And there is no other sanction than seizure. OK, there's no fine, there's no penalty, there's nothing else. Uh, the warning letter is there to say, don't do it again. Don't do it again, because next time it may be more serious, OK? Yeah. It's a lucky escape for the two men, whose audacious attempt at smuggling cheap cigarettes would have netted them a profit of over £2,000 each. 
quite happy to do some checks on the, uh, the people involved in both parties and myself and my colleague were, were happy that they were first time offenders from a customer's point of view. Um, the need is to say that, that will be, the records will be maintained on them and should they try and make another attempt, more punitive action may well be taken. At Gatwick Airport, a plane has just come in from Kingston in Jamaica, a known source area for illegal drugs. As the last of the passengers pass through the customs channels, officers stop a woman who's just arrived home in the UK. After a routine baggage search and an ion scan swap test of her suitcase, traces have been found for cocaine. Despite the woman's protest, the suitcase is taken away for further tests. I've done an iron scan on the bag. I mean, she's adamant she hasn't come anywhere near drugs. She's adamant there's nothing in there, but uh, I've got to find out why. I've got a reading for 2.55. So what do you do for a living? Uh, I was uh, writing for a magazine out there. What does your partner do? Well, he's a musician. Yeah, how, what, what is the situation? Well. I'm getting, still getting readings for cocaine. So you said you're travelling with your partner. I need to have a chat with him as well to see if we can see if we can find out why we are getting the readings. The woman starts to become agitated with the suggestion that she's been involved no, with cocaine. I'm not saying you've got it. All I'm there's saying no, is at the no, moment. There's and, no actual cocaine. Well, I haven't found any, so that's that's good but I still need to find out why I am getting these readings. It might be that your boyfriend will be able to throw some light on it. I don't know until I've spoken to him. But if he can't throw any light on it, what happens? Well, at the moment, well, until I've spoken to him, I can't say what's going to happen. Whilst waiting for the woman's boyfriend to arrive from immigration, officers become intrigued by some prescription drugs in the woman's hand luggage. Oh, it's a strong medication. You certainly sounds it by that. With questions to be answered, the woman's Rastafarian boyfriend is hurried through immigration, but he too is less than happy at the suggestion he's been involved with cocaine. And it can happen from anything. You can have touched something that somebody else no, has no, touched. No, 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 I just touched nothing. But you don't know that. You might have touched the... Oh. Listen to me. You might have touched the airlines. Yeah, yeah, you can pick up yeah. traces of drugs from anywhere. Yeah. You can pick them up from train well, seats. You, know, you can she... pick them up yeah. from airline seats. Yeah. You can pick them up from being in nightclubs, pubs, no, bars, anywhere. No, but I'll... this is what I'm saying to you. This is you can pick traces of drugs up, OK? okay? And that can then contaminate the contents of your suitcase. Okay, well, so what we need to do is we need to make sure that's all... I'm a regular artist, you know? Okay. With neither passenger offering an explanation, further searches will be conducted to get to the bottom of the cocaine traces. It's the middle of the day at Birmingham Airport. A flight is due to depart to Dubai and officers are using sniffer dogs to detect passengers carrying any quantities of cash. Well, under the Proceeds of Crime Act 2002, Anybody who's carrying more than a thousand pounds, we're entitled to ask them about the origins of the money and what they intend to do with it. Hello, so you're carrying cash on your body today? Yeah. yeah. Good boy. We're trying to intercept criminal money going out before it commits a crime, before they go out to buy drugs, before they go out to buy cigarettes. So we hit them in the pocket um, where it hurts. None of us like losing our money. <laughs> if passengers can't provide evidence where the cash has come from, or what it's going to be used for, officers have the power to seize the money and investigate the individual further. Come this way. A man waiting to board the flight to Dubai has been pulled over for questioning. He lives and works in the UK and claimed he was carrying just £1,000. On further questioning, he revealed he's actually carrying £4,000. Did you pack this bag? No bag. Who, who packed the bag? So yeah, I packed bag. Yes. You packed the bag. Yeah, I, 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 Is everything in here, including the money, belongs to you? Yes, but I'm Okay, just going to give you a bag a quick check, sir, OK? Yeah, Do you okay. have any more money apart from the wallet? Yes, yes, yes. Any more money? No, I guess You hold that money there, yeah, yeah. OK? Perfect. With the flight about to board, officers will have just minutes to decide what to do with the man and his cash. Is this your coat? Yeah, this Any money in the coat? No. No money in the coat? No, no, it's not. No money in the coat? Some change. I think, I think it's under the car, something okay. down there. Yeah. Maybe some down there. Yeah. 
I know it's because it's there, isn't it? Yeah, that's at the at the. But you said there was no you money. There. No, money there. no, yes, yes, I forgot because yes, you forgot the, you that had... one is someone. You someone forgot you had is, money yeah, there. Someone is fifty pound the cent is is, is family. Oh, it's yes, very no important you tell us about all the yeah, money, sir. I, I said yeah. to you, can you tell me about How all the money? Then you remembered you had more money in this bag. Now you've remembered you have more money in the coat. Do you have any more cash no, on no, you no, anywhere? Any more on your no, person? No, no, just this. Okay. Yeah, that's the right. In your wallet there, do you have your national insurance card? Yes, I have it. Yeah, can I see it, please? The man's dishonesty is ringing alarm bells. Now, have you put your tax return in last year? Last year. Or this year? Last year, no. It's just it's a yes, yes or no. no question. Did you put your tax return in? No, 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 last year. No. Five, have you ever been arrested by the police or customs? No, no never been in trouble. Yeah. Well, that's good, sir. After confessing to not having completed a tax return, officers will conduct background checks on the passenger for further information. As, as long as you've done everything right, everything will be fine. Can you take your money belt off just now, sir, and just show me all the money that's in the money belt you have? Yes, yes. With the threat of losing his money, the passenger is starting to get upset with the interrogation. Reluctantly, he shows the contents of his money belt. And in here, you say you have three thousand pounds. Yeah, three thousand pounds. Right. Yeah. Now, the money here is not bank wrapped, sir. So yeah. is it this money you've taken from your shop? Yes, shop, yeah. Okay. No, it's bank. Take a seat down there, mate. You'll be right. As the last passengers board the flight, the suspected tax evader looks unlikely to be leaving the country with his cash. In Gatwick, the Rasta passenger is being decidedly candid. So as a Rasta then, do you yeah. use cannabis? Yeah, I use cannabis, yeah. but I don't have none neither. But I want to do find traces of cannabis, I smoke cannabis. But no other drugs, I don't deal, deal with crack and cocaine. That's fine. We have also burn it. We have That's the money in the Ryan Bank fine. of Scotland, so we're not transfer drugs and push drugs. But you see, where you do your, where you say that yeah. you're a reggae artist, yeah. okay? So where you do that, yeah. there could be people there who smoke drugs well, and smoke me, mama, man. cocaine. And, and I'm clean. Yeah, but like, do you see so what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah? What saying. so you could have picked up traces of drugs from yeah, there. You wouldn't know that you've done very, it. It's very hard for my lady like that, you know. You understand? Officer Hazel takes the man's suitcase to the X-ray, but her colleague Sam thinks she might have worked out what's causing the high traces of cocaine. We just have to check your partner, but what I think is happening is because of the drugs you're taking, it's reacting for the cocaine test. And that's probably all it is. I've never even seen cocaine. I don't even know what it looks like. Yeah, but that's what it is. I think that's what it is. It's because you've got really strong medication. And I think that's where it is because you're taking it when you sweat, it goes into the into your pores and then it goes onto your clothing, then you're putting the clothing in your suitcase. And that's what's contaminating it. Hazel's search of the man's suitcase comes back clear as well. OK. That's fine. You OK, princess? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm all crisp, man. Everything crisp. Despite the questioning, the couple are happy to accept that it's been a necessary interrogation by the officers. Yeah. Yeah, well, Thank you for being understanding. Sorry for delaying you. Bye-bye. OK? Right, bye-bye. It was fine because I sprang him out the queue and he was absolutely fine. He was charming, chatty. And the minute that you mention drugs, cocaine specifically, he was not happy at all. He's Rastafarian and, to my understanding, they use cannabis and don't have much to do with cocaine. But he got quite cross up here. But then he called me princess, so I figured it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Nobody ever calls me princess. I think they felt better when I said, I think it's the medication. Yeah. In Birmingham, officers have just minutes to decide what to do with the man carrying over £4,000 in cash. Having lied about the amount of money he was carrying, background checks have been conducted, which have brought up more lies. Do, do you know what being arrested is? No, that's no. no. You've, you've never been arrested? No. Right. Well, our records show differently, sir. And our records also show you had good seized at this airport as well. You said you'd never been in trouble with customs? No. No? You, you don't remember that either? Okay, just wait for that. The PNC's got um, checks coming back for bringing in cigarettes into Birmingham Airport. Um, 1,400, that was last year. Despite his previous offences, today the main concern is the £4,000 in cash, which may be illegal income. 
Having failed to pay any taxes for the previous two years, officers decide to seize the money as they suspect him of tax evasion. Listen, there is money. Listen, listen, money, listen. No money. we haven't got time now to talk about the money, but you need to make a decision on whether you're going to travel or whether you're going to stay here to answer further questions in relation to the money and miss your flight. That's your decision. You're free to go, but the money's not free to go. Do you understand? You can miss your flight and stay to speak with us and you won't be flying today, or you, no can today. Or, or you can go on the flight now, but your money will be staying here and will go before the magistrate in 48 hours. So you have to make a decision, sir. Do you want to fly or do you want to stay? Reluctantly, he hands over all of his cash. His case will go to court and he'll have the chance to appeal the seizure when he returns to the UK. And that's the reasons why the money's been taken from me, OK? Thank you. With just seconds to spare, the man and his wife catch their flight, minus their cash. If he hadn't done the last check about what um, taxes he'd paid, what benefits he'd been claiming, he would have been on that flight with that money. Because we did the check, we found out he hadn't paid his taxes, which therefore is a uh, proceed of crime. So therefore his money's gone. The woman caught smuggling £25,000 worth of cocaine in her laptop was found guilty and sentenced to five and a half years in prison.